Hi everyone. I have several of these plates to make and they all need to be identical. My blanks are these plasma cut aluminum circles and there's a lot of draft to the cut which means the parts aren't particularly round. Let me show you how I did it. My setup involves using a piece of medium density fiberboard or MDF. I started off by centering my first blank to establish where my X and Y zeros would be. I then held a sharpie marker in a collet and used it to draw this circle. The circle is more than good enough to get my other blanks lined up. Then I can just clamp the blank down and drill my holes in it. The blanks are about a quarter inch or about six millimeters oversized, so I have plenty of wiggle room. Once I have the holes drilled, I can use them to screw the blank down to the MDF fixture with regular wood screws and machine around the outside. The MDF fixture is also clamped to the table and doesn't move, so my XY0 is going to stay the same for each part. This is on a CNC machine, which I know not everyone has, but this technique is equally useful on manual machines as well. I went ahead and spotted the four outer holes, which will be countersunk for number 10 wood screws. While I was at it, I spotted for a clearance hole in the center for a 3 8 16 flathead screw. That will eventually be countersunk from the opposite side. Then I went ahead and drilled all of them to their respective sizes, being very careful not to drill too deep into the MDF. It is sacrificial, but I need material there to screw into for the second operation. I really like MDF for this type of setup because it's reasonably flat, it's cheap, and I know it isn't going to destroy my cutters. The only downside is you can't use cutting fluid with it because it will absorb it and start to swell. If that's a concern, all the same principles apply to fixtures made of any other material. Next, I need to countersink the outer holes, and for that I'm holding it in an ER32 collet chuck. I'm using that rather than the drill chuck because I want to have consistent Z locations between my parts, which I would lose if I swapped the countersink in and out of the drill chuck. I've already set my Z depth on the first hole using the quill stop, and that will let me get consistent countersinks even between parts. I'm actually going a bit deeper than I need to because I'll need to face this part off and that will give me enough room to clean it up. In case you're wondering, this is a two axis mill. Only the X and Y axes are controlled and all drilling is done manually. Once I'm in position, I just feed down against the quill stop and then move on to the next hole. Lastly, I screwed the part to the MDF and milled around the outside. The rest of the operations were done on the lathe using soft jaws, but I've already shown that in a video. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. I'll put a link to it on the left side of the screen, and on the right I'll put a link to a playlist with all my other quick machining tips. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.